Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing the Crew 2's open beta on the GeForce CDX 1050 2GB. So the Crew 2's open beta, I'll be doing 1080p, 900p and 720p to skip to not those sections of the video, check the timestamps down in the description. So well, compared to the closed beta, I didn't see much of a performance difference, but the biggest difference between this and the closed beta is that now the G4560 works on this game. On the closed beta, the game didn't even launch on the G4560. And that was because the CPU doesn't have the ABX instruction set, which this game uses in the video editor part, not in the gameplay itself. That's why it was so easy for them to fix it, apparently. So I'm glad that that was sorted out. Many people can now play the game because some older CPUs don't have the ABX instruction set. And it runs pretty much the same as the closed beta. So I'm using a little lower settings compared with the GTX 1050 Ti's video. I'll first show you 1080p on the G4560, targeting 30 frames per second. So I'm trying to show you the best graphics possible without dropping below 30. Then I switched to 720p to show you that the CPU can reach 60 frames per second very consistently. So far the G4560 compared to the i3 had a little more stutters here and there, completely playable on the G4560. You only need two cores and four threads to just play this game at 60, plus a good enough GPU of course. Then I switched to the i3 8100 and I show you 1080p once again, first using pretty much low settings to try and get 50 to 60 frames per second, then I crank it up as high as possible trying to stay over 30 frames per second and then on 900p and 720p I do exactly the same thing I show you settings to try and get 50 to 60 frames per second then I crank it up as high as possible trying to stay over 30 and that'll be pretty much it so in the options menu the options that gave me the biggest impact in performance first of all were the contact hardening soft shadows just by lowering from that to high you can usually get a decent performance boost then lowering shadows further doesn't help that much which is kind of weird then on ambient occlusion by just turning that off you get a decent performance performance boost as well as screen space reflections. Screen space reflections is key, just turn that off and you get a very good FPS boost. So in my experience, first turn off I mean occlusion and screen space reflections, lower shadows from the highest to high and that should already give you a decent performance boost and after that just lower the rest in groups and that should be enough to get double the frame rate compared to the maximum settings. And that's pretty much the options menu, I didn't have a lot of time to play with it because most of the settings don't do much to the frame rate. But remember this is a beta so so it should be different from the final game. Hopefully when the game releases it performs better, it has less problems, but yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time. Speaking of soaring, get a load of that jump. There you have it folks, the numbers are going through the roof. to the extreme. You'll gain followers by winning, of course, but that's not the only way. Do a spectacular stunt like this, and the fans will come a-running. Check it out. teams out here and believe me they're watching and just as important they need to generate excitement that's how fans flock to them 
And that's what it's all about, right? Become a racer, steal the show, and see your follower numbers soar. Speaking of soaring, get a load of that jump. There you have it, folks. The numbers are going through the roof. You'll gain followers by winning, of course, but that's not the only way. Do a spectacular stunt like this, and the fans will come a running. Check it out. have a shot at taking on established stars and a chance to impress all the racing teams out here. And believe me, they're watching. And just as important, they need to generate excitement. That's how fans flock to them. And that's what it's all about, right? Become a racer, steal the show, and see your follower numbers soar. Soaring, get a load of that jump. There you have it, folks. The numbers are going through the roof. gain followers by winning, of course, but that's not the only way. Do a spectacular stunt like this, and the fans will come a-running. Check it out. the first episode of this year's live extreme series in this new season talented newcomers have a shot at taking on established stars and a chance to impress all the racing teams out here and believe me they're watching and just as important they need to generate excitement that's how fans flock to them and that's what it's all about right become a racer steal the show and see your follower numbers soar Speaking 
of soaring, get a load of that jump. There you have it, folks. The numbers are going through the roof. Gain followers by winning, of course, but that's not the only way. Do a spectacular stunt like this, and the fans will come a running. Check it out. today to watch the first episode of this year's live extreme series in this new season talented newcomers have a shot at taking on established stars and a chance to impress all the racing teams out here and believe me they're watching and just as important they need to generate excitement that's how fans flock to them and that's what it's all about right become a racer steal the show and see your follower numbers soar Soaring, get a load of that jump. There you have it, folks. The numbers are going through the roof. followers by winning of course but that's not the only way do a spectacular stunt like this and the fans will come a running check it out First episode of this year's live extreme series in this new season talented newcomers have a shot at taking on established stars and a chance to impress all the racing teams out here and believe me they're watching and just as important they need to generate excitement that's how fans flock to them and that's what it's all about right become a racer steal the show and see your follower numbers soar
Speaking of soaring, get a load of that jump. There you have it, folks. The numbers are going through the roof. Gain followers by winning, of course, but that's not the only way. Do a spectacular stunt like this, and the fans will come a running. Check it out. Get a load of that jump. There you have it, folks. The numbers are going through the roof. Game followers by winning, of course, but that's not the only way. Do a spectacular stunt like this, and the fans will come a running. Check it out. 